So, I'm going to tell you a story, and you can interrupt and ask questions at any point in the story that you want, okay? Just don't feel any pressure. You can just listen if you want to. Okay, so this story takes place in a small theater in Russia. Okay, you know where Russia is, right? Do you? Um, it's like it's like on that. In it's Asia. Like if you hold up your hands and you you look onto the to your right hand, the, the hand. If you take your hands, the one that makes an L when you when you're holding them towards you. If you in that way, it's that direction. It's east. You know, way east. Or west, if you're wanting to go around the club. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So there's a theater director, and he's trying to put on a show, okay? He's trying to get the best show that this town has ever seen. And he's put on some pretty good shows in the past, but, you know, he hasn't been making any money lately. And that's tough. You know, being a theater director in a small Russian town, how the fuck are you going to get your food, right? So he opens up at auditions and in strolls the strangest group of people that he's ever seen. A tall, bearish man um, walks in. A, a bull. He's, he's got a bull on a, on a rope. He's got a chicken that's sitting on top of the bull. Then he's got, on another leash, a nerdy twink, okay? And then there's a whole swarm of rats following them in. And the director goes, oh my God, like what the hell is going on here? Okay, all right, fine, I'm here for it. Let's see what you got. Go on up on the stage, up on the stage you go. And so they all go up on the stage, they're mooing and clucking and the, the squeaking and the nerdy twink is going ah, on the ground. And the bearish man is, is just, he's strong and silent. He's looking in the eyes of the director. And what he does next is that he drops his pants and starts taking off his shirt. And what what is most shocking is not that he got naked immediately, because, you know, sometimes people just get naked. You know, they just, they just take off their clothes. But the thing that was really notable is the fact that he had a large, mottled, tube-like dick. Looked just like a horse's, okay? It's got like a, a medial ring and everything. Big, fat, chunky thing. Like big honking dick and his balls are huge and heavy, okay? And so then he starts going over and the, the twink is on the ground and he starts undressing the twink and the twink's penis is like this big, like really tiny. Just super, super small. You can barely even see his balls. Total femboy. No hair on his body anywhere. He doesn't smell very good, but whatever. It doesn't matter. He's, he's down on the ground, you know? And so he starts taking off the twink's, the twink's clothes and before he can even get started, the, the bull just starts shitting all over the stage. And the bull is just, just dumping, just shitty ass bull diarrhea, just dumping out all over the stage, everywhere you can see. And the big man is stepping in it. And then the fucking twink is stepping in it. And the twink starts throwing up. And the big man pulls on the twink's chain and pulls him underneath the bull. And, and then, so he's under the bull and the shit's going down on the twink. And the twink is getting covered in shit flakes, just disgusting. And the chicken is freaking out, okay? The chicken is just like, wah, 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 and it's trying to run around. And the bull, of course, is really trying his best to control the flow of diarrhea, but he can't. His anal sphincter has completely and utterly failed. And so the twink is here trying to desperately not drown in the shit that's pouring out, but he doesn't want to disobey his master who has him on the chain. So the twink takes a bite of the bull's balls. Now, of course, this arouses the bull, uh, the, the bull, right? Like, I mean, anybody who gets their, anybody who's had their balls bit knows that the bull is going to fucking, you know, he's going to get a little hard. And so the bull gets hard, but see, the chicken was there. And the chicken was kind of freaking out. And so its cloaca was going like open and shut like this. And the bull's penis just kind of fires like a rocket into the chicken's, uh, a into the chicken's cloaca. It's not really an asshole. It's kind of like an asshole. They, they shit and piss and lay eggs out of it and also come out of it. So it's very interesting. Anyway, so the chicken is getting fucked at, by the bull and the bull is shitting on top of the twink who's biting the bull's balls and then the the master says oh my god i gotta clean this mess up and so he takes his he takes his giant throbbing horse cock and he jams it in the bull's asshole and so the the, the, the shit stops finally so the twink is no longer drowning in the shit but you see the the, the heat of the shit was uh the, sh the heat of the shit warms up his cock and he just can't help but come and of course, he's got horse balls, so he's coming a lot, and he's coming into this this bull's ass, and the bull is just sort of cumflating. Have you ever heard of cumflation? Do you know what cumflation is? Okay, cumflation is um, it's like when you get filled up with cum, so much cum that you like bloat up a bit. You know, like a balloon, cum, like inflation, but with cum, cumflation. Anyway, so uh, cum the bull starts cumflating, and then all of a sudden, you know, he he finishes, and he's like, oh god, and he pulls his he pulls his cock out, and he's like, clean that up to the twink and the twink is like oh okay sure and so the twink is like getting blasted with diarrhea and cum and he's felching the bull because his master told him to and it's just a th th shit and cum and piss and then and then while this is all happening something falls out of the out of the pants that have been getting kicked around and washing around in the um in the bullshit you know and so the pants fall off the stage and out of the pocket falls what could you imagine but a family tree, an image of a family tree? And what we find out is that the twink is actually the brother 
and the cousin of the bear guy, of the big bearish man. And the big bearish man is like, oh yeah, well you fucking eat that bull's asshole. And then he pulls the twink's face out of the asshole and he starts fucking the twink's shit covered face with his shit covered, cum covered dick that's extremely hard and also a horse dick. And his balls are like slapping against the chin of the twink and there's just, it just won't stop. And then the chicken of course has now reached orgasm and the chicken is orgasming. and. Don't even get me started about the rats. Because, see, the rats is where things get really exciting. You see, the, the, the bearish man happened to know that the theater director is aroused by the killing of rats. And so they start taking the rats, and they're twisting the heads off the rats, and it's just disgusting. And then the man is, he's no longer fucking the twink, he's fucking the necks of the dead rats. So we got this, this, like, necrophilia shit, and then the rat, one of the rats climbs onto the twink. And, you know, rats have really big balls. Did you know that? Like, they have really big balls. Like, like, have you ever seen rats' balls? They're, like, really big. It's very weird. It's, like, extremely weird. If you get a boy rat, just be ready for that. We used to have ten rats. Anyway, point is, the guy is only aroused by rats getting fucked. Dead rats getting fucked. And so he's fucking the dead rats, fucking the dead rats. But one of the living rats climbs onto the back of the twink. Something you should know about rats. Um, when rats come, they actually have this weird thing. So, because their penises are so small, they actually can't get, like, come into female rats, like, very easily. And so they have this thing called a mucus plug. And so the the male rat is is fucking the twink and his 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 tiny rat dick clogs up the twink's asshole with the with the mucus plug and um and and then the twink is starting to fill himself up because he's so sick from all the diarrhea that's blasting into every hole of his body from the bull, bull diarrhea the disgusting like hay filled bull diarrhea that's like filling his body and he can't shit anything out because he's got the rat's mucus plug in there and of course you know the chicken's freaking out so it's tearing up the rats and the bull is stomping all over the place and the rats are getting stomped up into the into the into the into the mucky shit it smells horrible it's bad it's oh god it's so bad and then the pissing starts you see because you know the, the twink is getting so full of shit and cum and 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 the mucus plug from the rat and the blood from the rat and the mucus and all of that and and he has nowhere else to go but piss so he just starts pissing and he's just pissing and pissing and it's splashing all over the theater director and then the master gets so mad the bull man the bear man he he's like he's like oh my god i can't handle this and so he takes the rope of the leash and he tosses it up over the top of the of the rafters of the of the theater make a noose yeah no no he didn't need to he just he just kind of like oh. he uses it like he goes like this you know he pulls the guy up and so the the twink is choking you know and i don't know if you know this but um Autoerotic asphyxiation is a thing like when people when people like start to lose air or blood flow to their head They get really horny and the same times they come and so like as he's like like lifting up his little Slave by the collar by the rope up over the, the things and the, he's suffocating He's suffocating and he's pissing while this is happening until he's out of piss and then he comes and the cum just falls down in big globs And then he says listen for this. I'm gonna make you do the worst thing ever and if you want to die, if you don't want to die, you got to pull yourself out of that goddamn collar, get down here, and climb across the stage back to me. So, of course, the twink, being a devoted servant, slips out of the, uses his shit-covered body to slip out of the collar, drop down into the ground, and he's crawling face first, oh, right through the, through the shit and the blood and the guts and the rat bones and the, and the rat cum and the bull cum and the chicken cum and the cum of the guy and the piss and it's just disgusting you know and he's crawling and while this is happening the big bear guy is just firing loudly out of his enormous horse cock just blast after blast of cum and the cum is like hard enough it's got like a hard shell i don't know how he did it but he's doing it and it's and it's rupturing and, sh and going and going and of course the little twink he climbs all the way over and he gets all the way up and he takes his hand and he slaps it on the end of his master's dick and they look turn and they look at the director and the director covered in piss and blood and shit and, and fart and piss and cum and How's incest cum. In fart? Well, I don't know because there's lots of farts in the air, you know, so he's covered in he's covered in all this. It's in the everybody's air. Everybody's covered in fart? Yeah, every, because it's like it's in the air, you know, like an air is kind of like it's a gas, but like you're not really covered by it. But you know Are what you I mean? Just it's, talking it's about heavier. Twitch politics? What's that? Are you just talking about Twitch politics at this point? No, no, this is a... Well, I was about to tell you, but it's okay. The, oh, the theater okay. director is, he wipes some of the, the shit and pus and cum and guts and whatever off of his eyes. And he goes, that's quite a show. What do you call it? And the bear man looks down at his little twink 
and he snaps his fingers and the twink looks over at the director and he says, the gay aristocrats. I feel like I don't get the... I feel like I, I'm missing some information to understand this joke. Do you want me to tell it again? I can start over. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. okay. Yeah. I, I'll just... Um... It's a perfect metaphor for my life. Yeah. Well, I mean, it speaks to a lot of people. It's a, you know... I wrote that myself with the shit and the piss and the cum and the blood and the cum and the incest and the bestiality. It's a perfect metaphor. And, and the necrophilia. I'm a very talented writer. I'm, I'm sure you can tell. The fart miasma. I like that part too. It's a joke. Why would you make a, something that is just a, a mirror of my life? Because I was trying to inspire you, was really what I was trying to do. Because It's you, not inspiring. It's not inspiring, it's just sad. And you know the hole is growing larger. I don't think it is. I think you, I think that's the feeling of a healing. And the reason the reason I think that is if you if you think it's a little burning. closely. But if you think more closely about the story, when the twink was climbing through the rivers of shit and cum and piss and rat blood and mucus plugs, um, from all the rats coming and shitting and farting, um, when he was crawling through that and he got all the way to the end, at the end it was worth it. So he made it in the end because he had a he had a strong well he had not a strong spirit but he had like an obedient spirit. So that's kind of cool, right? It's, it was I feel like there was a lot of plot tension there. Do you not agree? Do you think I should change some of the details? Maybe it should be. Maybe that maybe the twink shouldn't piss at all. Maybe that's too much. Do you think the piss is too much? Or was it the comb? I know people like shit a lot. Maybe I should add more shit. I, I gotta go. Alright. Well, I hope you have a great night. It's been wonderful talking to you. Th thanks for blowing yeah. me out. It was fantastic. Um, thank you for, um, conceding that you were wrong about everything. Correct. And, I was wrong. Um, yes. The truth is, I was wrong about everything. I just really wanted a chance to talk to the funniest political Twitch streamer. 